Hey everybody, Troa here. Back for another episode in Space Engineers. Now, I've been seeing that some people have been having a, a problem with a couple of things inside the game as far as uh, getting things where you want them, everything else like that. A little of the internal game mechanics that aren't necessarily properly explained. But I mean, again, this is this isn't even a it's not a released game yet. There are still things that they're figuring out, and it's great. I love I love this game, and uh, some of these shortcomings can be avoided. And like a lot of things in Space Engineers, there is a lot of trial and error. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a video today to go ahead and help you guys out with a common one that I keep hearing that people are having trouble with. So let me go ahead and show you what I am talking. About. All right. So first things first, let me go ahead and take you through these corridors, which are pretty awesome, and I love this suit. But anyway, we go in here and let's see. There we go. And let's go ahead and open the door. And let's go over here to the seat. And once again, we shall go ahead and. Do -do 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 -do. Oh yeah. This is what we're talking about today. Slider settings. Now this is a problem that a lot of people have been having and it's it can be absolutely infuriating. There are a couple of things that in this respect that aren't done yet, but they will be. So let's go ahead and actually go over a couple of these things that I'm talking about and hopefully I can make you guys life a lot easier. By the way, best doors ever. So anyway, we go back over here, and I have an example for us. So first, let's go ahead and make them separate. If I go over in here, you guys, if you've ever messed with rotors, know this problem. All right, so say I'm trying to get it at an exact number, let's just say seven. Oh, it's just it's just not happening I mean you might get eventually you know get it on there and actually get it right it's just not gonna work so how do I go ahead and get this to exactly seven revolutions per minute so if I go ahead and move it on here and I try to select it I get it close then I can go ahead and go in here and just with a click of a few buttons I can get it really close really close But if I want it exact Control click, go back in here, done. Exactly seven revolutions per minute. Now the same thing can be applied to torque. If I get it close, I can use my arrow keys after the fact, after I have selected it by, t by trying to use it, I can go through here and go through those little things. And of course, control click and get in here and actually type in, there you go. Or if I go in here for the braking, the upper and lower limits, you name it. I can do all sorts of things. So if I go here and I say I want it exactly at zero. Oh, there you go. That's close enough. But if you control click, that ain't exactly perfect. So if we go back in here and then actually just press zero. There we go. Upper limit, if I want to set exactly 90 degrees. Well, I could do that. Or again, control click. Go back in here, nine zero, enter, voila, perfect, picture perfect, degree settings, exactly. That's all you got to do. That's it. So again, this isn't something that's you know pointed out. You go in here, you see sliders. You try to use the sliders, you get ticked off. It's understandable. It's completely understandable. But again, this is one of those things, trial and error, like I said. So. What about multiple things at once? Well, if I go ahead and connect those up and go back over here, and I go in here and I'm like, okay, so what if I want both of these rotors to be doing the same thing? All right, so if I go in here and I mess with the velocity, I can set them both up to, let's say, seven again. All right, so I can get it close, maybe even exact using those, but again, if I want exact, control click delete that press enter there you go exactly seven revolutions per minute torque I want that all the way up velocity there we go upper and lower limits so let's go ahead and set these so we want them at nine at zero degrees here all right 
Let's see, where we go. So, control click, bring them back over here. Zero, there we go. Upper limit, 90 degrees. Again, we can just control click, go in here, 90. There we go. And that is it. So they will both go ahead and get to a certain spot and stop. And picture perfect. There you go. So you can see where this would come in handy almost immediately. So, and of course, if you want one of them to do one thing different, just go in here, select one of them, and reverse the one. And there you go. You can have them doing all sorts of things. So, just put them back because they look better that way. So, those are there, and that's one thing right there. So, let's go ahead and show you another example. What else can you do with this? Well, pretty much anything that has a slider has a few examples. You have your gravity generators, you can do the same thing here. You can get them exact. You can use the arrow keys to do little increments. You can control click, you can type in what you want. Same thing, kind of thing. Same with the gyroscopes and all of these things here. The interior lights, however, those are different. You can't actually control click anything here. You have to use the actual arrow keys. And you can cycle to them through them as well. So you press up and down, you can go up or down through the menu. It's actually kind of cool. Pistons, same kind of thing. The thrusters, same kind of thing. Suspension settings, you name it. So this is, you know, obviously this can get pretty cool. So you go over here to a practical application. I actually forgot to reset this, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. So say again that that door just does not open the way you want it to. It just goes too wide. You don't like that little bit of a gap that is there when they're opened up. So see it goes past that wall. We don't want that. Well if I go back in here, select both the pistons, control click here, and then go to the number I already know it's at, which is 7.5. Press enter. Go ahead and reverse them. Bring them past, open it back up, and they will now stop flush with the door. So, like I said, thanks for watching, guys, if I haven't said that already. And, ah! <laughs> Too much gravity! So if you go over here and you like what you saw, hey, leave a, leave a like, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you have any other things that you kind of don't really know about and think I could go ahead and clear up for you, let me know. I'd be glad to go ahead and do this. It, uh, anything I can do to help, because this game is one of my favorite games of all time and anything I can do to help out the community would be awesome so uh, I hope you guys like this video it took an a insane amount of time to actually go ahead and make this I, I don't even I, I, I embarrassingly took a lot of takes to make this video so I really appreciate it if you guys do that like and thumb up thing that'd be cool but otherwise guys thank you for watching and uh, hopefully I've made somebody's life a lot easier so thanks guys Talk to you later. Peace.